Now, again, the average idiot cops that are there taking this information, they think they're doing good and helping. But as the founding fathers said, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So there's your little biometric ID card, slave card. has nothing to do with keeping your kids safe, everything to do with enslaving them. That's why they've been lying for 36 years and telling you the blood was for the health department and a health test and sending it off to a federal depository uh, at the Eugenics Bank at Cold Springs Harbor. Now, mainstream news. See, that's the incredible thing. We're on record about everything 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years ago. In fact, I've been trying to dig around and find myself 15 years ago in front of the county commissioners and city council. A year plus before I got on air, I was going down and talking about this to the city council. And they wouldn't give me citizens' communications time or they'd cut me short, so I went to an access TV show. We ought to find those 15-year-old, let me see, 1993-94, right out of high school. We ought to find those and put those up on YouTube. Okay, this is part two. I may go into part three and four on this because just covering that took so much time. And this is the tip of the iceberg. In fact, I, I cleaned the studio the other day. It's in one of those folders. See if Duke can find the CPS folder that had all the stuff in it uh, from her case with the little booklet from the state that says, if you raise your voice, we will take your children. Now, there's no law that raising your voice is. They don't care. These are child molestation rings. And I don't care if you can't handle that. Last week, I played congressional hearings where they admit they run child kidnapping rings. In fact, Google, Google 3,000 children missing in CPS custody in Florida. 3,000 children in, in, in government custody missing in Florida. CNN. Show them right now. And they find them in Saudi Arabia and Thailand and Israel. They find them in Eastern Europe. They find them in snuff films. They blow their heads off. They enslave them. Show them. 3,000 children. Now, that's just the missing children's. Try, uh, try CPS lost. They have a different name in Florida. It's like family services. Family Services loses 3,000 children in Florida. It'll be 2004. I, I mean, you can't make up the magnitude of their evil. Yeah. Or maybe thousands of children, maybe the headline, and then you'll, you'll say 3,000 in the article. Turned out it was actually 5,000. I remember that headline. Ah. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at it. We'll find it during a break. All right. So this is all part of the grid. This is, this is what they want to do to everybody with this giant control grid. And there's federal funds served out with bounties on the kids they kidnap. So they want to control your mobility, track everywhere you go, make you have a, a internal national ID to travel over state to state borders. Homeland Security is on record saying that in Land of the Free, uh, Home of the Brave. The census program was to be every 10 years, going back to Mount Sinai and then the Bill of Rights Constitution, to enumerate how many members uh, of the House of Representatives your state gets according to population. Now it's going to be a yearly and then a monthly census, the American Survey Census. There's a bunch of different variants. They ask, what guns do you own? What are your stocks and bonds? Name them. What type of toilet do you have? What, where do your children go to school? What is your income? And they say, under threat of arrest, you have to answer this. I thought you had a Fifth Amendment, but you do. It's all color of law fraud. They have the U.S. Code by the first question about your names and who lives there. And then they have a dotted line, and under that's all the other questions. Just like there's no law to take vaccines. And that's what this global cybersecurity grid is about. They say, oh, we're going to surveil the entire Internet to tell if there's any outbreaks out there from chatter or up upticks and people buying flu medicine for your safety. And, oh, we have to be able to shut the web down to protect it if Al-Qaeda attacks it. And then meanwhile, the Pentagon admits they've been attacking their own computer systems uh, in the past as a uh, pretext to basically fearmonger the government into giving them all this. And Jay Rockefeller's on record saying we would have been better off without ever having an Internet. The newspapers, the mainstream media are dying. They have to shut it down, bring in net neutrality, bring in a gelded, castrated, as the New York Times said, safer, gate-kept, gatekeeper-kept, Internet without people like Alex Jones. So they have the census getting everybody's data into the grid, GPSing your front doors. The Department of Homeland Security reports 
saying environmental activists, conservatives, gun owners, liberals, conservatives, Ron Paul supporters, libertarians, Bob Barr supporters, people that talk a lot about the Constitution. Oh, there's the story out of Florida. Does it say 3,000 like I said? Control F 3,000 on that article. I want them to say it. That's the right one. Control F 3,000. It should be on there. Um, I want people to see this and know it's a living in denial as they watch out there. Again, one of the biggest things is surveillance blimps at, uh, at 100,000 feet being tethered. That's MSNBC, Associated Press. That's Bob Woodward's secret Pentagon technology he brags about. That once they get a heat resonance of your body type and double ID that with a face scanning camera on the ground, they can now track you anywhere and everywhere you go with these surveillance blimps where one blimp can surveil an, an average sized state. And Homeland Security's now got them in place over the entire United States, they report. Uh, they also have the face scanning cameras on the poles, the license plate reading cameras, which then police and government bureaucrats, according to the Orange County Register and other publications, are above the law. Over a million people now in California, the article two years ago said 990-something thousand, over a million people are above the law. They can DUI, run through checkpoints, run through toll roads. They have special plates that the cameras can't read and that when police get behind them, they're not allowed to pull over. And they're not allowed to run their plates. So not only will we be discriminated against slaves, anti-war, you can't fly. If you have bad credit, they're announcing you won't be able to fly. No judge, no jury. If you're on a no-fly list, you won't be able to own guns. Uh, no judge, no jury, no arrest, no due process. They just put you on that over a million, 100,000 Americans on that growing. Carbon taxes will categorize and register everything you buy, everything you sell, everything you do with RFID smart chips to track the history of your purchasing. Any black market or underground economy will be a felony. Uh, paying somebody cash to mow a, a lawn, paying somebody to paint your house, selling an old car to a buddy. You'll still have cash. It's globally standardized under the new announced Global Bank of the World with a global tax where they set the interest rates in world currency, but you'll have to thumbprint and face scan into the system for the global graduated sales tax when you pay with cash or that will be a felony. Now, I told you that 10 years ago from federal documents. That's now openly being announced and pushed. Now, the most important point I made yesterday I want to recap is make money as you build the grid. There's a few thousand globalist companies with Carlyle Group and uh, Ted Turner and the Clintons and the Bushes and the and the royal family in, in England and the Dutch royalty and the and the uh, Bin Ladens are heavy in it, owning the red light camera companies, Lockheed Martin, the Defense Department, giving domestic contracts, cities and counties. Uh, the, the police threat matrix grid integration centers, the threat fusion centers, federally run big $100 million contracts even in middle-sized towns and cities and counties, uh, billion-dollar contracts in New York and Boston, $2 billion contract uh, in Boston uh, th that I saw just for cameras and the smart grid alone. This is a total web, and then that money goes to the politicians who go in a revolving door in and out of government. That's what this tyranny is all about. So they get rich off of selling the security grid. So the Pentagon that's dominated the world under NORTHCOM now dominates the United States. And just like in Fallujah and Iraq, they thumbprint you when you go in and out of the city. And if you're caught without the ID or you lie when they thumbprint you later, they kill you on the spot. That's uh, That was on NBC News one week before he retired. Tom Brokaw bragged and said he was glad. I have the video clip. They said they kill anyone who doesn't have a proper ID. Well, that will be the system here announced, and you'll be biometrically scanned everywhere to buy and sell, biometrically scanned by police, all being announced, biometrically scanned to buy food. They're starting it out with video games, alcohol, cigarettes, minors, but it's to go global. This is all admitted by the big consortiums. Uh, they're going to have debtor prisons, not just that you can't travel or be on a no-fly list if you have bad credit. They are going to force you to work in federal programs if you have debt. Um, they want to take over with the National Animal ID system and the Premises ID system, the food, Codex Alimentarius, the vitamins. We'll get into the new stuff when we come back in part two. Then I'll do part three tomorrow. Kinky Friedman coming up.